Hello, I'm Brigantia Blackbird of Blackbird's Brew. Welcome to the December 2021 preview. There's lots going to be going on at Blackbird's Brew on Discord and here on this channel. So let's get a little sneak peek, shall we? Now, astrologically, our sun is going to spend the 1st through the 20th in the sign of Sagittarius. Then on the 21st, of course, Yule, it moves into Capricorn. The moon is going to go through its usual shifts and changes throughout the entire month. Mercury, uh, from the 1st to the 12th, is going to be in Sagittarius, and then on the 13th, move into Capricorn. Venus will be in Capricorn from the 1st to the 18th, but on the 19th, it goes retrograde, and it's going to be there for a little while. So as time goes on, we're going to be discussing about what that's going to mean, and especially since, uh, I mean, that's right before Yule, right before Christmas, right before New Year's, a whole lot of stuff going on, and uh, we'll just talk a little bit about... Um, pitfalls we might want to be aware of. Then Mars is going to be in Scorpio from the 1st to the 12th, then on the 13th it'll move into Sagittarius. Jupiter from the 1st to the 27th stays in Aquarius, but then 28th it moves into Pisces. Then Saturn is going to be in Aquarius all month. Uh, Uranus will be retrograding in Taurus all month. Neptune uh, finally goes direct in Pisces, so that'll be a nice change. Pluto stays in Capricorn all month. Uh, Chiron is going to be retrograding in Aries from the 1st to the 18th. Then on the 19th, it'll finally go direct. Then the Celtic tree month from the 1st to the 22nd, it will be the elder month. Then on the 23rd, it's a day called between, so it won't be any month at all. It's just kind of an odd time. It might be a really good opportunity to uh, tap into some um, it's very special magic since it's an in-between day. And of course, the in-between is where all magic lies. Uh, then on the 24th, it, we will be in the month of Birch. Now, our Wicca 101 classes for the month of December. I'm Because we have so much going on, I've been using a lot of uh, more simple, straightforward type of topics. I started doing that a little bit in the month of November. And we're going to keep going on with that uh, through December. Uh, but we're going to be talking about altar tools in the classes. And I'm going to just go through one, them uh, one at a time. It's not going to be uh, huge swaths of information, not a whole lot of philosophizing, just a lot of good basic um, info to where if you are new to this, uh, you just you get a nice good sense about what these tools are used for, what kind of alternatives uh, you can use. And it's just going to be nice little chunks. Uh, but we'll begin with the athame, then the wand, the cauldron, and then the pentacle. So what I like to think of as being the big four. Uh, we're still doing our power of release workshop in December. Uh, we'll be working on the heart chakra, then the throat, the third eye, and the crown. We do one a week, so it'll be nice to continue going through that. Uh, then our journey through the tarot, which of course we use our famous Housewives Tarot deck for. It's by Paul Keppel and Jude Buffum. We're going to be finishing out the Major Arcana. I mean, can you believe we've been doing this series long enough that we're actually finishing the Major Arcana? Uh, we'll go over the star, the moon, the sun, judgment, and the world. So we'll be getting to uh, start the new year with uh, the suit card. So that'll be exciting. Uh, divination demonstration is carrying on. Uh, the first four spreads of the month are going to be focused on Yule, and the fifth is a New Year spread. And for that, we're going to be using the Game of Thrones Tarot by Liz Dean. Uh, December is a really fun month. I think Yule is a really fun sabbat, so I just wanted to do something fun and playful. And uh, since uh, there is something about Yule that has such a medieval kind of spirit, and of course Game of Thrones was a medieval society, I just thought it'd be fun. Also in that vein, uh, our Romance and Modern Mythology series, it's going to be examining different couples from Game of Thrones, again, just for fun. Uh, we'll be doing uh, Ned and Catelyn Stark, Samuel Tarly and Gilly, Rob Stark and Tylisa, Jamie Lannister and Brienne of Tarth, and Jon Snow and Ygritte. So uh, just we'll see what we have to do with there. And uh, so far as what is humanly possible, I will avoid discussion of those unfortunate final seasons, which... Uh, shall not be spoken of any more than what can be helped. <laughs> Moving on! On Sundays, we're going to have videos focusing on Odin. And then on Mondays, we'll be looking at the goddess Hala. Uh, Thursdays, we'll be devoted to uh, Yule preparations, history, ideas, uh, rituals, just whatever pops into my head. There's a lot of ground we could cover with that, and I'll try to uh, 
I'll, I'll try to uh, make it as widespread as possible. Uh, Tuesdays, of course, that's when we have our Pagan Problem series. It's all going to be related to Yule. I'm trying to keep everything very Yule-centric. Um, we'll see how it goes. Uh, then, at, specifically on our Discord uh, server, on the channel Magical Tidbits, we will continue to have the daily forecast. We'll continue to have daily devotions, which, of course, deals with a variety of topics. Uh, but we're going to have other goodies as well. Uh, and it's all going to be revolving around Yule. Uh, decorations, magical correspondences, pagan carols, yes, they do exist, spells, rituals, recipes, lore, all the fun stuff. It's been a tough year. There's been we've been doing a lot we've there's a lot that's been going on uh work-wise you know between workshops and wicca 101 classes and just kind of the day in day out uh video grind and i just want to make you all fun and relaxed and just revel in the magic and in the enjoyment of the season so I hope you will stick around for all of that. If you haven't joined us already on Discord, there's a link to join below. It's called Blackbird's Brew. And of course, subscribe, like this video, leave me a comment. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.